Hi, this is Nick with bestoutdoorbasketball.net, and in this video I'm going to briefly review this Spalding ZIO basketball. You can get a good look at it right there. Um, this basketball is not a bad basketball. Some of the features of this ball include that it has a pretty traditional channel design, not too deep or too wide. Um, I'm alright with that, just kind of depends on your personal preference and what kind of basketball you like. Do you like them to have real deep channels or do you like them to be more traditional? Uh, the ball feels fairly soft. It's got a decent cover to it as well. Uh, so that isn't something I'm too concerned about with this ball. The only concern I have with this ball is just the consistency of its bounce. Um, it's not that it has a bad bounce to it, but it's just not as consistent as some of the top uh, indoor-outdoor basketballs that we've tested. Uh, so that would be one of the negatives of this basketball. Uh, if I were going to be purchasing an indoor ba outdoor basketball from Spalding, I probably wouldn't pick this one. I would instead go with this Spalding replica indoor outdoor basketball. Looks a lot like the one they use in the games. Um, this one just has a significantly softer feel uh, on the cover than the ZIO does. And the bounce of this ball is also uh, more consistent and it just sounds better coming off the pavement as well. It's just a better quality ball. Um, Lastly, comparing these two balls, the price of these two are almost identical. So, um, again, around $30 range for either one of these basketballs. So, again, that's the Spalding ZIO basketball. Uh, not a bad choice, but I think there's some better choices out there for you. I'm Nick with BestOutdoorBasketball.net. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks. Hi, this is Nick with BestOutdoorBasketball.net. And in this video, I'm going to briefly review this Spalding ZIO basketball. You can get a good look at it.